all access pass to Halford Backstage, a rock show premiere of some classic Judas Priest and everything you've ever wanted to know about Lemmy's ass, but we're afraid to ask on the rock show next. <laughs> Hey, this is Scott Ian here, and I'm taking over the show for the second week in a row. I'm here to give you another weekly dose of hard rock and heavy metal. I'm going to get to hang out with Rob Halford, the metal god himself. I've got some great stories about Lemmy, some really raunchy stories about Nine Inch Nails, but first, here's a look at the hard rock happenings. The Rollins Band video for Get Some Go Again won an award for Best Digital Music Video of the Year at the DV Expo 2000. Henry's been really busy lately. He's releasing a new book of his journeys, Smile, You're Traveling, Black Coffee Blues Part 3, and is the narrator for the upcoming Fox Horror Anthology, Night Visions. Doro Pesh just released her first U.S. album in 10 years, Calling the Wild, and it features guest performances by Slash, Megadeth's Al Petrelli, what's up Al, and a duet with Motorhead's Lemmy Kilmister, as well as a cover of Billy Idol's White Wedding. Doro set the tour with Yngwie Malmsteen and Dio starting November 14th. Marilyn Manson's unleashing his new album, Hollywood, in the shadow of the Valley of Death on November 14th. It sounds very scary. He's also writing a novel of the same name. It should be released sometime next year. The band just hit the road for the first leg of their Guns, God, and Government world tour. Check out MarilynManson.com for dates. And S.O.D., the hell is that? Are releasing a new home video, Kill Yourself, the movie, on DVD and VHS November 14th. It features a bunch of chaos, including live concert footage, interviews, and behind-the-scenes retardedness. And in case you don't know what SOD is, it's the Stormtroopers of Death, and that's my uh, so-called side project that I have with Charlie from Anthrax and Billy Milano on vocals and Danny Loker on bass. And November 14th, Kill Yourself the Movie's coming out, and I guess we'll have these wonderful Guns N' Roses-style t-shirts, too. Um, next video up is uh, by Metallica, a band that's obviously been around a long time, if, in case you didn't know that either. I got to hang out with Kirk recently. He's one of my best friends in the music business. And um, it was right around the anniversary of Cliff Burton's death, which was September 26, 1986. He died in a tragic bus accident on the way from Stockholm to Copenhagen. And we got to go out and have drinks and reminisce and talk about the good old days and, uh, well, the bad old days as far as that's concerned. Um, after Cliff died, as, as everyone knows, uh, Metallica went through tons of auditions, auditioned all kinds of bass players. Talked about everyone from Lemmy to uh, Les Claypool to Joey Vera from Armored Saint. Uh, and it ended up being Jason Newstead, of course, as you know. Um, rest in peace, Cliff. Anyway, this next video uh, is a video from Ride the Lightning, uh, but they didn't make videos back then. So we took this from Live Binge and Purge, and this is Fade to Black. Life could seem more fair. 